Hey YouTube, it's Millie. I am so freaking excited to share this unboxing with you guys today. I tried to film this so many times. I don't even know if this time is gonna work. The weather is so unpredictable all over the place right now, but in Cleveland, we've been having these really, really intense thunderstorms, rain, flooding. Every time I've tried to film this, I end up getting interrupted with a storm. And I'll I also already technically unboxed this. So this is a little bit of a fake unboxing because I already took all the factory wrapping off of it. I was a little too impatient and excited about the bag. I did get this in the store from one of my essays at our local store. Her name is Paige, and I'm actually gonna link her YouTube channel and her Instagram below. She is one of the coach influencers, so she has a pretty big social media presence. And her YouTube channel, she's actually had for, I think, over like 10 years. So I would definitely recommend checking out her channel if you have not already. And she did box this up so pretty for me, and I feel horrible that I unboxed it off screen because she had a cute little ribbon on here and it was completely factory wrapped. But we're still going to unbox it together so you guys can see this amazing new bag that seems to be very hyped up right now. Let's get into the bag because that is why you guys are here. This is the Coach Tabby 20. And this is, I think they're calling it the Mirror Collection, but I've also seen it described as the Shine Collection. So I'm not sure exactly which one is the real name that we're supposed to be calling it, but a lot of people have been calling this the Mirror Tabby. And you can see why, because it is literally a mirror. You can kind of see me in the background. This bag is in a patent leather. And I learned that from Paige because I did not know that. I wasn't sure exactly what the finish on this was, but it is a patent leather. And then it just has this additional effect on it to make it shiny and to make it look like a mirror. It does have silver hardware. You can see over here. And the hang tag is in that same patent leather material. And you'll notice as we are looking at the bag, this does get fingerprints pretty easily, but they do give you a little cloth that you can use to clean the bag. And I found that that works pretty well. I also have been using the dust bag to clean it, which might sound kind of weird, but I'll kind of use the dust bag to kind of like wipe it off. And because this is such a soft material, I think that does work okay. Some details about the bag. This is a new size of the tabby. So I think the traditional tabby, um, not the pillow tabby, but just the standard tabby is a size 26. And this is a size 20. You can see with my hand under it the size. And then if we turn to the side, it's the exact same in terms of the style and the layout. Oh, and actually it looks like there is one piece of, oh, it goes all the way around. There's one piece of wrapping that I forgot to take off, and this is actually a perfect opportunity to show this to you guys. When I was unboxing this and taking all the fact factory wrapping off, the entire bag was covered in this material, and I'm trying to get it to focus. It's like a fabric material. Typically, coach bags are wrapped in like a tissue paper when they're factory wrapped, but this bag came wrapped in this really soft white material, this fabric. And I think they purposely did this because of the material of this bag to make sure that it didn't get scratched. So I'm glad that I was actually able to show this to you guys. I did save all of this inside the box here, just in case I have a use for it in the future in terms of protecting the bag. But let's take a look at the details. So I did show you the size of the bag already, that it has silver hardware. The setup is the same as all the other tabbies and you do have this back pocket here. That's what the bottom looks like, that accordion style. And then when we open the bag up, you do have where it says coach right there on the inside. That's what the bottom of that looks like. It also says coach. And the material on the inside here is a microfiber. It is very soft and it's kind of like a light medium gray color. The arrangement of the inside is like the tabby, the refresh tabby that came out. 
So you have this zipper compartment in the middle, two main pockets, and then you have this thin pocket here, and you also have another thin pocket right here. It's not something you're gonna fit a lot of stuff in. And then to show you guys something the bag came with, this is the cloth that comes with the bag to clean it. So in this light, I don't know if you guys can really see any marks just because of how the light is, but you'll get fingerprints on it. And it does show like if there's like a piece of fuzzy on it or something, you're gonna see that just because of how this material is. So this is nice to be able to clean the bag off. I've used it a couple times already and it works pretty well. From what Paige told me, this is how you clean patent leather. This, these cloths come with all of the patent leather bags, like the studio bags that came out last season, maybe. So I have been keeping this in that center compartment just because I don't tend to use this zipper compartment here. And I also have the tag in here. So let me show you this. So you can see the price, you can see the style code. And I think if you've watched my videos before, you know that I do tend to keep the tags inside the bag. That's something I like to do just to make sure that I don't lose anything. This bag comes with two straps. The first one is a short shoulder strap but in my experience this is too short to fit on your shoulder so let me show it to you guys on the bag and i'm a tiny person i'm 5'2 and i weigh about 100 pounds so usually even if these are short i can usually fit it under my shoulder this one is really pushing it like i technically can fit it under my shoulder but it's not very comfortable so if you're gonna use this with the bag, it's probably gonna be a top handle carry, if anything. And then it does come with another strap as well. And this is a long crossbody strap. And all, both of these are in the same material with silver hardware. What's really interesting about this crossbody strap is it is detachable, so it does have these clips at the end for where you attach it to the bag, but it's actually two pieces. So this part on the bottom, oh, let's see it'll fo if it'll focus, there we go. This part on the bottom is one piece, and this part on the top, this longer piece, is another piece. So you can take this apart and kind of roll it up so that it's not this huge, chunky strap, because this is pretty big and the way this material is it's pretty thick so it is kind of hard to roll up but i thought that was interesting that it's technically two pieces for this crossbody strap i'm hoping that's making sense as i'm describing this basically the crossbody strap comes in two parts that you can separate i have used this bag already and what i did is i actually used a different strap so i did not end up using this strap, I actually used it with two different straps that I am going to show you so you can get a sense of how you can style this bag a few different ways. Okay. The first strap I'll share with you guys is this strap which comes from the Outlet Quilted Terry bag which I have done a couple videos on by now and I think this strap looks perfect with this bag. Obviously, because it is silver, it matches, but, but also because it's a little bit longer of a strap, so you have the option to wear it as a shoulder strap, top handle, and it's a little bit more versatile because of that. You have some options. So this is the first way that I actually wore the bag. And then let me show you another strap. This strap is from Amazon, and I purchased this to go with the Brandon Blackwood steel trunk that I have. I can try to add the Amazon link below if I can find it. I'm pretty sure this is still available. But this, also being a silver strap, I think goes really well with this bag. And the clips on this are a little tricky. So 
The difference is this is longer, so it definitely fits more comfortably on the shoulder if you wanna wear it as a shoulder strap like this. But you can also wear this crossbody. It sits pretty high, but there are a couple sizes of this strap on Amazon. So you have the option to get an even longer one if you wanted. But I really like the length of this one particularly because it just fits really well in terms of a shoulder bag for me. I also wanted to show you guys what fits in this bag considering this is a new size of the tabby, which is size 20. So I brought all the items out that you guys have seen me put in bags before. So we can go ahead and see how all of these fit. And obviously we know I need my EpiPen. Safety first. <laughs> I need my inhaler, my hair pick and lotion. And I'm gonna put these in the front. And I'll show you how this looks at the end. The Aquaphor. And then I did get a couple new masks. So I have these nice black silk masks. I try to kind of fold this up. This is what all of those items look like in here. And you can see that there's a ton of space here, definitely a lot of space here. And I did not put anything in either of these pockets. There's a lot of hype around this bag right now. And it seems like people are having one of two reactions. Either they are stoked and really excited about these bags in this collection, or there seems to be another group of people that either really don't like them or just don't care for them in general. Growing up in the 90s, early 2000s, this bag just speaks to my soul. I don't know how else to explain it other than that. It looks like the reflection that you get from water, like ocean water, lake water. I absolutely love that. I think it's beautiful and I can see so many uses for this bag in all different seasons. Like I don't think this is a season specific bag. I think you could wear this in the summer for special events, concerts. I think you could also wear this in the winter. This would be an amazing bag for the holidays, which is what I'm probably most excited to use it for. But I've already used the bag and it's midsummer, So I do think there's a lot of possibilities with this. And I am really excited to see the rest of the fall collection come out from Coach. What I heard from some of the essays at my store is that they're not releasing all of the fall collection bags at one time. It's going to be a slow release over the next couple so weeks. I'm excited to see kind of how that goes. I'm excited to see what else gets released. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. How are you feeling about this bag? How are you feeling about this collection? Do you like this size? especially seeing what I was able to fit in here. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye YouTube.